Onivia, League of Legends highlights. Volibear in the uh, TF, but of course, Auto Solo Lens already picked. As, yep, this is the epitome of a good luck ruler. Yeah, have fun in your own. <laughs> um, we are going to dive the enemy backline. Yeah. Uh, and oh, man. to be uh, scared, use their bot and mid lane prio to pick themselves up with the free drink. Yeah. You say it's free, it really is in every yeah. sense of the word. Top lane, that matchup is playing itself out very, very good. Um, as oh, well, here we Rascal. go. Rascal has his flash, but is that going to be enough? As the sun will come in, the burst damage from the two players of T1 will be enough. Just barely. Faker going to be able to pick that one up as Kana had to get out with so the... Rascal, I don't know if you really can. Nice poke landing, though. Yeah, just a little bit, but at the end of the day, you do see Clid up on the top side just flirting with the idea of a kick. Okay, here we go. Just going to get Kana. Totally out of position, and down he will go. That's only the one kill, and it's traded back by Gumi Yusi. And T1 pick up the Rift Herald. Um, you know that turret is gone. There's nothing that he can really do. He also has to respect the threat of Push over to the river. So this one will just go over to Gen G. We will have an Infernal Soul, which will happens. Be yeah. But it's not very common. It's oh, Rascal. Yeah, he's OK. Oh, even Kana's here. And oh, yeah, there's, uh, of course, a bear on the other side. And he has ultimate with red buff. You're just not getting away from that one. As T1 commit three to pick up. Potential is really, really good, even at this point in the game, even with the deficit that they're on currently. Oh, boy. Insta Cleanse comes out, and he still loses 70% of his health. So no longer does Varus remain. They're going to have those cooldowns ready for the next Infernal fight. It's actually perfectly timed. Smite down just for some health at this point in time. That's how close this fight is. Is he even getting that shield as well? Coming on over, and I think T1 have done a decent job of pulling them out, but now Kerry is going to need an arrow to the back. And it is just on a nice edge right now. BDD trying to do his part. Was Mana getting low? Yeah, at some point you just run out. That's a nice engage, and actually could. He gets the kill out of the dragon, and BDD is going to feast on some low health bars here. He gets the one, but he's going to trade his life for it as Gumi Yusi, that is one sad Ziggs. As Ruler and Rascal on the run here as well. I think T1 in a good spot to take both of them down at least. As Rascal also going to get flanked here and go down. But at the end of the day, Gen G did pick up that Infernal Drake, which is more than worth its weight in gold. And now it just means as T1, you are still given the opportunity to take over this game. That's what you need to do. It is in the end after. But no surprise there as the Jace is immensely fed at this point in time, even as a GA on top of everything else. So at some point, the Jace can kind of just go ham and, and be OK with that because he's, he has this GA to come back to life. As you mentioned, T1, they really are just putting the pressure on. Love it. And that is what they need to do. They don't even care about BDD in the top side round. Gen G might consider some kind of maneuver here instead of getting just poked out to death, as it's going to be T1, actually, that go for the maneuver. As that is the insta cleanse out of Ruler, BDD over the wall. He's just going to get the GA by himself away from Kana. And Ruler's going to live here. We got the kick for disengage. And BDD is still full health. Look at the amount of damage he's getting done, but he can't do it all alone here as Ruler now trying to kite back. And you can see that T1, they say, no more poke out of this LeBlanc. We just got to engage and take them out. And that they will. They're going to secure the fight and the Drake here as Clid is down. Immaculately played there by BDD, but it's not enough. And this is where T1 reaps the rewards of the, how well they've been playing this early to mid game because something that as T1 you need to be a little bit careful about. That turn is amazing, though. It really is. And they've got Karyo waiting here in the wings because no flash available, but he does have his ult. And you can see BDD's not landing that poke just yet. Red side forest, still a thing. Able to do a little bit of damage, but here we go. Here's that turn, and poor Light is just not able to get much done in this game as what is that damage? Bar is still a thing, apparently. Really nice satchel on a Rascal, and he's going in, and BDD gets the huge assassination. So many low health bars here on the side. Pretty nice gold lead here, and they're picking up some Drakes. Gumi Yusi, maybe now the one who has to be scared. 
As we see the damage now is just insane. That's going to be the stopwatch blown, and he's not in a good spot. There's no peel for the T1 jungler. And down he will go once again, and Gen G are taking back control of this game. I don't think they can... Ah, oh, they're going to go for it anyway. Guma doesn't have teleport available, but with the poke available for T1, they should still maybe try and contest here, but the damage from Gen G is terrifying. Are they really going to give this up? Because if you give up this Baron... It's rough. Well, actually, contesting for the Inferno is also going to be almost impossible. The Destiny helps out so much in keeping them alive, and Ruler's going to have to flash away. Look at the poke that they have! As the turn comes in, it kind of... It's just gonna blow up the Lee Sin! Down he goes! And even BDD is going to be going down here. They thought they had him, but it was actually the clone. And now Ruler's all alone with no flash. He has the cleanse, and look at this. Putting on the moves, but unfortunately, he is all alone. And the TPs are coming in. T1's trying to end the game. That was a 50-50 call there um, from Kana trying to get the final kill. And now the death time is, I think, relatively short. I don't actually know if you can actually end the game with how low your health bars are. T1, they want to go for it. I don't think it's going to work out. Ruler is there. Oh, they're oh, going. Oh, God. They're oh, going. God. <laughs> Souls online as well. Yeah, they have a Ziggs, and that's some insane dodging coming out from Faker. And look at this, just flashing forward. Baker's gonna go into his Zonius. They just gotta hit the Nexus here, and I think they will have enough. Oh, there it will be, 32 minutes. And T1 are gonna shut this game down before it gets two out of hand.